please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. What's this on my shoulder you may ask? <laughs> Some more Dollar Tree finds. Okay, this is a 100% polyester Dollar Tree towel. It is so adorable and I did make this. I got the image from Creative Fabrica, the fonts from Canva. I'm going to show you how I did that and then how we did this. And I should use my mini press for this. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to show you some more Dollar Tree Christmas finds that you can make. And it doesn't even have to be for Christmas. It could be for anything. Um, all Dollar Trees do not have the polyester. So some people ask me, even when I posted this, where did you get the polyester from? You have to check your local Dollar Trees and literally just check the packaging to see if they're polyester so you can sublimate on them. But I thought this was really cute and not the technical, typical Christmas color. So I thought this would be a cute, fun project to do. So let's just jump right into the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know when the videos go up please let's just jump right into the video y'all let go okay guys so i went ahead and grabbed this from the dollar tree it says kitchen towel and it's 100 percent polyester and this is 100 percent polyester pot mitt this has rubber on the back end so i'm thinking i'm gonna use my mini press for that one and y'all these are cotton so you have to be very very careful because they'll throw some cotton up in there but it's okay i think i'm gonna put vinyl on the oven mitt maybe in another video and then on these i I'll probably embroider on those and I think I'm going to embroider on the kitchen towel on the other side but today we are doing sublimation and I'm only using the 100% polyester oven mitt and kitchen towel today okay so I did measure that that is measuring six six inches by six inches and then we're gonna go ahead and open up this towel because like I said I'm a sublimate on one side and then board on the other and when I open up the towel I'm going to actually only sublimate on approximately six by six inches as well we gonna just you know keep it the same so let's go ahead jump into Canva and let me show you how I designed this Okay, y'all, before we hop inside of Canva, I do want to just show where I got my image from. Grabbed a real quick winter wonderland snowman from Creative Fabrica. I thought it was too cute because it matched the color at the Dollar Tree. And it wasn't like your normal Christmas colors, you know. But I thought that was just too cute. Grabbed that real quick. Brought it inside of Canva. Bam, easy peasy. I went ahead and grabbed the Bright Wall font. This font was inside of Canva already. And I just simply put Happy Holidays. And I just did like the little stair step right there. Thought that was real easy, real cute. And then I went ahead and I uploaded it into Silhouette Studio. Actually, I downloaded it with the transparent background. And then I uploaded it inside of Silhouette Studio. And like I said, I was going to use the same size for each image. So I just went ahead and used 5.005 inches in width and 4.653 inches in height. Easy peasy. Went ahead, printed these out. This is sublimation. I'm using my workforce. Um, my Epson Workforce 7720, when you sublimate, you mirror your images. And yeah, so that's how I printed them out. And then let's see how they turned out once we get to person. And they came out so cute. Look at that blue. Like I'm really loving these colors. I'm using Asa paper and Cosmo ink currently. I did go ahead and grab some parchment paper and I'm putting that in the middle i did use butcher paper for that i just used parchment paper because that rubber on the background uh i didn't want to press it under my heat press because i was just a little nervous i didn't know if i would melt it so i did say i was going to use my mini press for this particular project now i'm just cutting everything out making sure that it's going to fit on there and y'all i can probably count on one hand how many times i use this mini press um so yeah <laughs> if you guys have any tips with using a mini press please let me know i had to fix my lighting so i'm sorry about that but now everything is cut out it's gonna perfectly 
go inside of there. It all looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my tape and I'm going to tape everything down. Now I went ahead and did that and I'm going to take this easy press y'all. I'm not even going to lie. I honestly didn't remember how to turn it on. Look at me. I'm playing around with it. I knew it was hot because <laughs> it was sitting there. But I promise you, I can count on one hand how many times I used it. But I just held it down in the different spots. And then I moved it over. And as you can see, I'm moving it around. And that's where I think I messed up a little bit. Because, let me show you real quick. It looks good though. Them colors is popping. Everything look good. But the first part, it wasn't really hot. So I decided, oh, let me go ahead and put it back down and go over it again. And what I should have done was only made the bottom part hot because what happened was it looked a little 3d-ish over there so <laughs> y'all see that look a little 3d-ish it's not that bad but it looks a little i said wait what's going on with my eyes so anywho we just gonna move along to this kitchen tile child <laughs> and what i did was i lint rolled that made sure my butcher paper was on the bottom and then i am gonna go ahead and pre-press it because these are just the steps that you take when you sublimate and now let's see how this one turn out okay y'all so i typically wait to get it at 400 but i gotta pick up y'all niece so i am going to one two three one two three and a half I am going to go ahead and press this. See, this is making me mad because I'm going to have to put it in a corner. I'm going to have to put it in a corner because it's not exactly in the middle. So, I'm going to have to put it in a corner like I had planned to do in the beginning. So, I typically leave it to make it. I typically let it get to 400. But, like I said, I got to pick up your niece. So, it is at 367 for 60 degrees. Put that butcher paper on top. And let's see if it's going to do what it's going to do. All right. We're going to let it sit for a second. Let that ink penetrate. Okay. It's set for a second. And let it I didn't even tape it, y'all. I'm definitely in a rush. Let's see if it if it did it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that's such a cute design. Let me bring you in. You guys, it's so cute. I love this little design. It's adorable. That font came from Canva and the image came from Creative Fabrica. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, this would have been a bomb. I literally was just worried about this rubber. So, I tried to do the little mini press, but it definitely ghosted a little bit. There's a little ghosting over there. But, it's still adorable. And, I mean, it's at the Dollar Tree. So, yeah. I really, really want to take you in a little bit on this. Look how good this sublimated, though. Like, it really went into this so this is a great sublimation kitchen tile it looks super good it really looks professional it went in there like really great and these colors are popping look how good that looks like it looks amazing so for sublimation this is great i am like i said probably going to embroider a snowman on the other side of this so stay tuned for that video because i think that's going to be too adorable and i'm really excited about that so make sure you guys stay tuned for that make sure the notifications are turned on um but i will sell these i would 100 percent sell these or gift these for the holidays i think they would be great christmas presents great christmas gifts you could even throw in some cookie mix and spatulas and spoons and different things like that and i'm actually gonna make some videos with vinyl doing that as well so y'all stay tuned i have a lot coming up stay tuned y'all but this video is over so thank y'all so much and yeah y'all and that's a wrap please like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl if you have not already please join our facebook group crafty queen dreamer we love it over there follow me on instagram do dream one is the handle tiktok do dream one is the handle and
I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You here? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.